this switched on? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. At the back, you can hear me at the back. Oh, well, welcome. It's really lovely to, to have you here for our Treasure Seeker service. I think a lot of people stay away because it's so hot. I think swimming pools better than more than church sometimes. But what a lovely cool building we've got. And it's lovely to see you, Treasure Seekers. Thank you for the hard work you've put in to prepare for this service. And thank you for coming along. It's really great to see you. Now, we're, um, before I forget, are there any Treasure Seekers that don't want to be videoed? <laughs> you can be videoed as Any well. mums that mind if they're videoed? <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Everybody else in the con congregation... I won't right? video you. You will be videoed. <laughs> you girls are funny. Um, well, it's going to be a very different sort of service. And I hope you are here to take part. But we're going to start with one of our favourite songs, it's which really is... Lighthouse. I knew it. No, we knew it, but I think the treasure seekers, I think most of you will know all the actions to this, won't you? So if you put down your prayers that you've prepared and your stories that you've prepared, if you would like to, why don't you come out the front? Because Sophie's going to be here, I think. She's singing, and I think Bob is going to sing. Come out front. And I promise you'll turn off the microphone so you won't hear me. <laughs>
comfortable because when you come up, some of you have written some lovely prayers which you're going to say with Bob. Don't be nervous because nobody minds. But before we do that, we weren't really singing about a lighthouse, were we? What would we sing? What's the lighthouse really talking about? Who is the lighthouse? Ollie. God's the lighthouse. It's God is the lighthouse. We're not singing about a lighthouse helping, or we are singing about a lighthouse, but really it's talking about trusting Jesus that he is going to look after us all through our lives. And now we're going to pray to him and thank him for doing that. So Bob's going to come up and help you say your prayers. And thank Toby and Felicity and Lottie and Esther are going to help us say the prayer. And we must hold the microphone in front of the people's mouths and not wave it around, otherwise you won't hear. Did you hear what I said, Bob? You've got to hold the microphone in front of people's mouths so as it's her, what is it? Thank you.
and people who perhaps aren't their friends, that they would love them as their selves. And we pray also that they would forgive those who do unpleasant things to them, how difficult that is. But Lord, we know that if they follow you, it will bring joy to you and to them. And we just pray those things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Okay. Yes. And uh, let's say the Lord's Prayer together. The prayer that Jesus taught us. Saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed <laughs> be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. We won't be sitting down very long, because we're going to do something else. So, I was going to ask a question, what do we do at Treasure Seekers? Because maybe people here don't know. What do we normally do at Treasure Seekers? Ollie, hang on, I'll bring the microphone so she can talk into it. What do we do, Ollie? At the start, we play some games waiting for everybody. Then we have a drink after the drink. They, their teachers will ask uh, some of the Bibles and stories of the Bible. 5,000 and there's some Jeffies. Don't give it all away. <laughs> Hang on, does anybody else? Shall we let somebody else see if they remember what we do? Lottie. And then we do a craft about the Bible story, but we do that only sometimes. Sometimes we don't play games. Good. Anybody else remember anything that we do? That's about it. But what? Is our favourite game. Holly, what's your favourite game? Manhunt, obviously. No. Manhunt. Lottie. 48. Esther. You don't like the games. I'm oh, sorry, Felicity. That's <laughs> Felicity. Felicity, what's your favourite game? Manhunt. Esther. I know it's not manhunt. Grandma's footsteps. Harper, have you got a favourite game? You have a favourite game. Toby, have you got a favourite game? What's your favourite? Manhunt. Oh. <laughs> Maisie. Bozzy, bozzy. There's a bit of a theme here. Evie, what's your favourite game? Manhunt. Yeah. Manhunt. Okay, well, that's a manhunt. Well, what are the leaders' favourite games? Well, I think our favourite games are where we get to throw things at the treasure seekers. And we always start treasure seekers when we're playing indoors with dodgeball. But we thought it's a bit dodgy to play dodgeball in here. So we might give a go to Mr. Crocodile, where we also throw balls at people, but we thought, well, we can't throw those nice soft balls because they're too big. And I thought, well, we could use a cricket ball. <laughs> and then, are you thinking that I'm going to hit you then, Molly? <laughs> but we thought, no, that's a bit dodgy. But we would like to give you a flavour of Mr. Crocodile. Now, I know Bob has brought the Elderly Mr. Crocodile out of retirement. He's been a bit, he's feeling a bit his age, and we, it's his nephew has been at the Treasure Seekers lately. But he has come just to see everybody. So, but we're going to play it in a different way. So Bob will be halfway down, he's probably just up from Peter and Geraldine. And then we'll have Sophie will be up the top, and Jenny will be down here, and then Treasure Seekers, as Bob calls. You can run, well, walk, walk fast. You better not run because we're, yeah. And we, we will not be throwing balls at you, but normally we would throw things at them, and the one who gets hit is out. 
or the several who get hit, but as we're not very good at pain, nobody gets hit very often. Right, therefore, do you want to get Mr. Crocodile? Treasure Seeker is going to come out the front. Mr. Crocodile and his young nephew. But Mr. Crocodile is a bit ancient now. This is the oldest Mr. Crocodile. Uh, he's a bit battered. He's you know, he's a really naughty boy. Do you know what he did? Wow. Well, you can see he's had a tooth fail, can't you? What he did, he put it under the pillow for the tooth fairy to come and give him a pound coin. And do you know what he tried to do? Tried to eat the tooth fairy. He's really naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but he's looking forward to coming to the party tomorrow, okay? Yes, I'm really looking forward to going to the party. I'm going to eat all the food, not share. Now, is that right? No. No, of course it's Why not. Is it? Why is this to come to the party? Oh, but he's had a massive feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he's going to... Uh, Clarence is going to take over from Mr. Crocodile. He's a bit younger, and he is Mr. Crocodile's niece, nephew. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, oh, he's biting my chin. <coughs> it's been a bit uh, difficult, uh, Clarence, today. Ah, that's it. Get off! <laughs> Children to eat, not me. Right, where is Right. Right, okay, I'm going to go halfway up. So you halfway up. I'm scared. You're scared. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, you'll have to shout loudly, Tails, Bob. Right, okay. <laughs> Mr. Crocodile wants to eat a girl trifle with pink blancmange and that sweet uh, strawberry topping. So if you're a girl, you have to run.
Well done. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
beside the lake. But it was getting late, so the disciples wanted to send the people away to their homes. Jesus told the disciples not to send the people away, but to feed them. How could they feed all these people? There were 5,000 men in their families. The disciples looked for food and found just five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus took the small amount of food, gave thanks for it, and broke the loaves of bread. The disciples handed round the food. Everyone ate and was satisfied. No one was hungry anymore. The disciples even collected all the leftovers and filled 12 baskets full. What a miracle. It seemed impossible, but Jesus did it. Thank you. That was well remembered, wasn't it? I wonder how many of you recognised all the stories. I hope you did. Right, now we're going to sing about our greatest treasure. What's our greatest treasure? Treasure seekers, we learned about our treasure. Not this term, last term. What's our greatest treasure? Holly. God. Thank you. Right. We're going to sing about that now, and Sophie will come up and sing with Rob. Did any of the treasure seekers want to come up to the front and sing that as well? I expect they would. Amazing, go Thank <laughs> you. 
right, so we start off with Who hasn't answered? 
Oh, something up here. This is brilliant. Thank you. Let me hear. How many? How many next? Yes. Yeah. 
Don't be jealous. Well done. I don't know how many can we solve. Seven. There's another one up here. Well done. I think you have that one in a different form. Well done. Don't marry someone who's already married. That's good. Anybody got any other ideas? Any more? What have we forgotten? Grown ups. Here's Amanda. Amanda should know. Or Clive should know. Please get very quiet. Make any images and worship them as God. Exactly. Don't make any images. Only worship God. And another one from the man because nobody else seems to know them. I think we'll have to have to hold some of it. Oh, Geraldine's got one. Sunday special. Keep Sunday special. How many is that? Have we got there yet? No, what's the tenth then?
when I lived and worked in London. And uh, you'll go to the bus stop and you hope that you wouldn't be there too long. Uh, sometimes nothing would seem to come, and then not two, but three would all come together. And that was so frustrating. Especially then you had to make a decision. They're all going to set on the front, they're all going to the same place. Well, which one am I going to get on to? And usually, whichever one I chose was the wrong one because of a place called Victoria or down at Stockwell. Uh, the call would come through and uh, they, they would hear on the bus and they would say, uh, sorry, we're not going the whole way. Uh, so if you want to, travel the whole way, you want to get on the bus that is going all the way. And usually, because just the way things are in life, um, it would be one of the buses that was in the front, and as you come off the bus you were on to try and get to the one that would take you home, uh, the conductor, I don't know how many of you remember things like conductors, it's a long time ago, but the conductor would ring the bell so the bus would set off and say, you're left stranded somewhere as you had to wait for another one. It was a real, real frustrations and uh, sometimes you've heard people say things like, you know, we're on the wrong bus, and so you get things like, it's the wrong one, Romit. And uh, it really was an absolute nuisance. But it was amazing to think of how many types of buses there are, and you may have seen them. And it's not like that with people going to church. Which church shall I go to? There are so many religions in the world. Which one is the best one? Which one is the one I want? The one that I don't need to change at all? And we're very grateful that in the Bible, God tells us, uh, some, someone, I can't remember who it is, said uh, about the four Gospels, of one of the writers was John. And in John chapter 3 and verse 16, we read that God so loved this world that he sent his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And that is a wonderful thing. But how do I know that Jesus is the right Saviour, the right one to follow? Because we are told very clearly from history as well as in the Bible that Jesus died for our sins, and sins mean wrongdoing, and we've all done things that are wrong, and we need to be forgiven. And Jesus rose again for us from the dead, never to die again. So the number one is the Lord Jesus. He is absolutely unique. And for those who put their trust in him and are able to follow him, uh, he is the one that you can read what he said, you can talk to him in prayer, and that you can give thanks to God for all the good things. So the number one is Jesus. So I've been asked just to lead us in a short prayer. Now, some time ago, um, I'm a bit older now, but uh, I used to go to Treasure Seekers, and at the prayer time, we used to be told how you prayed. And I think it was one, two, three. Do you remember? Can we do that? Can we do one, two, three? Let us just pray together. God, we thank you so much for your great love in creating the universe but also in sending your Son, the Lord Jesus, to be our Saviour and our friend. We trust that we will all put our trust in him, that we will all look to him, and that we will all love him. Thank you again for the, for the leaders and all those who come to Treasure Seekers. Thank you for all the effort they made for this afternoon, but also from week after week. So we just ask that you would indeed be pleased to bless them and to help them day by day. We pray also for our families, wherever they are, and our friends, that Lord will be with them as well. For we ask it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. That was pathetic. We're supposed to say Amen. All right, we'll try it again. Amen. 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 Much better. <laughs> well, we've nearly reached the end of our service. Thank you for coming. Um, it's the last Treasure Seekers tomorrow, before the holidays, so it's a sort of party. I don't quite know what we'll be doing. We'll not be running around quite much, quite as much as usual if it's really, really hot, but I think we'll run a bit. So hope to see you all there tomorrow evening. And then, 
During the holidays, after a very long absence, we are going to be running Holiday Bible Club again. And I hope that all of you are going to be able to come along. All of you. If you're old enough to go to school, or just about to go to school, and you're not over 11, I think, <laughs> then please come along. You're going to come, Lindsay. That'd be great. Um, and it's... What's um, the Summer Holiday Bible Club? Well, the Summer Holiday Bible Club is like treasure seek. It's only even more fun, because we always do do craft. And we do lots of games. We hear a lot about Jesus. This year, it's all a bit sciencey. So, yeah, so what was it? Sciencey experiments and things to do, right? And we're running it from the 10th to the 13th of August. And on the 13th of August, we would like mums and dads to come for the whole time, which is from 10 to 12 15, and then we're going to have a barbecue afterwards. Mm. But they'll be on the last day, I think there'll be a bouncy castle, and there might be a trebuchet. If you don't know what that is, you'll have to come on and find out. But please come on to our holiday bible club. Now, when we finish here, we've got one more song to sing. And when we finish, please do come and join us. We're going to have <coughs> drinks and some cakes in the church hall. And it's very cool in there. Jenny and I were very surprised when we took things in there. It's nice and cool, so you won't melt. And for children, there is some craft. We're going to be icing some gingerbread men. And there's some colouring as well. So, and adults might be allowed to do it, but we'll see how we get on. So, let's sing our final song. Thank you, sir. Oh, she's going to go and set up. All right. <laughs> well, she's got to make the tea. I think Rob will sing. Do you know, any of you want to come out and sing? We're going to sing Wonderstruck. Oh, you know, that sounds cool. Come out and sing. Oh, yeah. Take a little while. Oh, stop. No, stop.
students do come and join us now for a cup of tea and a cold drink. And for the hall. And you can